hello everyone so in today's class we are going to see how to create the cost elements and cost element groups so what are the cost elements so the cost elements are used for using the income and expense general ledger accounts so all the income and expense general ledger accounts those are the primary cost or revenues are used as the cost elements so there are two types of cost elements one is primary cost element and another one is secondary cost element so the functionality of the primary cost element is to flow the data from financial accounting to the controlling module and the functionality of secondary cost elements is used to flow the data within the controlling module from one cost object to another cost object like from one cost center to another cost center we are going to use the assessment cost element and from one cost center to another cost center and from one internal order to an another cost center from cost center to copa so for this i am going to use the secondary cost elements so let's go in the screen system screen and create the cost elements all the primary and secondary as well so in after creating the cost elements i'm going to create the cost element group as well so previously in sap ecc we have to create the general ledger account and then we are going to activate that general ledger account as the primary cost element and secondary cost elements are not the general ledger account so but in sap s4 hana we are going to create the primary cost elements while creating the general ledger account and now in sap s4 hana we are going to use the secondary cost element as a general ledger account as well so go to screen and create primary cost element and secondary cost element so for this i am going to use the sap easy access uh, you can also create this general ledger account in fury screen as well so i'm going to use the sap gui and accounting controlling cost element accounting master data cost element individual processing so fs00 is the code we are going to create the general ledger accounts and cost elements as well so i'm going to use fs00 so create so i'm going to create the salary expense and i'm going to create the labor activity cost uh, labor activity price gen secondary cost element as well so that is the secondary cost element and first i am going to create primary cost element of sal salary expense so these are the options available while creating the general ledger account types and these two options primary cost or revenue and secondary cost is used for the creation of primary cost and elements and secondary cost elements so first i am going to create the primary cost element so based upon this selection of general ledger account types control data screen will change accordingly and when we are going to use the primary cost so system will display the primary cost element categories and when we are going to use the secondary cost so system will change the control data screen and display the secondary cost element categories so i'm going to use primary cost general ledger account it is for salary expense control data i'm going to create the primary cost element and it is primary cost so we have already discussed about the cost element categories in the previous class so g0004 it is for cost accounts so it is for cost account save so we have created the primary cost elements and now i am going to create the secondary cost element so 
generalizer account of the secondary cost elements will def will start from 9 and in the ne next two number will define the category of the secondary cost elements I am going to use the 41 category for labor indirect overhead calculation so create secondary cost secondary cost element labor indirect overhead overhead direct overhead control data so here we are going to assign the cost element category for indirect overhead which is 41 so it is for overhead rates and for activity type calculation we are going to use 43 so 41 and I'm going to use G004 so labor indirect overhead secondary cost element is now created I'm going to create the activity direct direct overhead secondary cost element as well. So it is nine forty three double zero two secondary cost secondary cost element and it is labor overhead. Control data. So we are going to assign the 43 cost element category. 43. Save. We have to assign the field status group. It is 4 double G double zero zero four. So this is the way we can create primary cost element and secondary cost element so now we are going to create the cost element groups so go back so I'm going to create the cost element group from cost element group and KAH1 is the transaction code we are going to use for creation of cost element groups so it is KAH1 and I'm going to create this for labor direct overhead so we have to create it without any space the labor over direct overhead And assign the cost element it is 940 43002 so this is the way we can create the cost element group as well so in today's class we discuss about creation of cost elements either it is primary or secondary and the cost element groups so the purpose of creation of cost element group is to assign the cost element group directly in another screen so instead of using multiple cost elements we have to create the cost element group and assign it in the next screen so we are going to use the cost element group in the costing sheet screen and cost element and cost component structure screen so these cost element group will help us instead of assigning multiple cost elements we have to assign one cost element group so that's all for this video so thank you for watching